What is going on my super sandwiches or should I say what is going on my hunters today we're talking about hunter hunter and basically I mean you see what the title is on the video this is going to be very controversial but before I start and I know you guys are already commenting before you're watching this uh, this is my opinion this is my opinion uh, I know why am I what am I doing posting my opinion on the internet what am I doing here uh, I should never do that I should be like I don't know, sentenced to death or something for having an opinion it happens all the time. There's always a, a, a point in time where someone will say something like, Oh, I like this series, I like that series, but I hate this one, I hate this one. And it's always going to be times where people like will side with the person like, Are you kidding me? Or, you know, they'll agree. Um, but before I start and tell you why I said what I said, that Hunter x Hunter is the greatest series of all time, uh, I want to hear from you guys. Comment below one. You only get one. Comment to one series in, in, in the comments below. Um, that you consider the greatest anime of all time. You can only choose one. You can't do more than one. Only one. It's gonna be a really, really tough one. And don't forget to say why as well. But with me, I get the question all the time. It's like, Rhyme Style, uh, is Dragon Ball your favorite anime of all time? I mean, you have a whole channel around it. Uh, you know, and the answer is no, actually. It is not. I have seen a ton of anime. I think my list is probably somewhere close to maybe the hundreds or so, I'm not really sure, maybe 800 or around there, 90 or so. I've seen a lot of series. I've seen them all from uh, everything that they've shown in Toonami days, essentially that was my gateway drug into the world. I've seen uh, stuff beyond that, that a lot of you guys might have heard of, but not have actually necessarily seen. I've spent a, quite a bit of time in my life watching anime, because that's what I do. I like anime, it's what makes me happy, it brings me joy. And every now and then I experience that one show that's so good that it automatically gets in my top list. Um, now, I'm not going to give you my specifics in my top list, but in my top 10, uh, without any particular er order, they consist of stuff like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Obviously, Hunter x Hunter is my number one, which is why I'm discussing this video. Uh, you know, there's stuff like Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Death Note. There's many, many series in here that I can toss in there and basically talk about for hours and hours and hours. But today, we're going to be discussing one, and that is Hunter x Hunter, and why I think it's the greatest series of all time to me. To me. I know some of you guys will agree, and some of you guys will probably get the pitchforks out and pull out the Akatsuki jokes, uh, coats, not jokes, and the Rindigan, the Shining Guns to basically hunt me down. But again, this is my opinion, and I want to hear from you guys as well because I respect your opinion. So comment below what it is. But basically, the thing about Hunter x Hunter is it's so great is I, I have no idea what it is, but every time I was watching this series from the first episode on, there was just this feeling of just pure joy and happiness. Like you get to experience this. This crazy journey that we never get to experience in life. I mean, how often do you just get to wake up and be like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and explore the world and just do something for myself. Not very often. A lot of times people will grow up and just accept where they are in life. They'll get that one job they hate and go to it for the rest of their life. They'll be with that one person they don't like. And basically, that's their life for uh, the rest of their life until they die. Now, the thing that's great about, about Hunter x Hunter is just... The characters in number one are spot on. There, you just fall in love with them immediately. You want to hear more about them. Look at them right there, actually. Uh, you just enjoy them. Like you want to see, you want going to succeed. I'm not going to go into any details here in case you guys haven't seen it because I do want you guys to experience Hunter x Hunter uh, like I did. But you want going to succeed from the start. You want Kilua to uh, achieve what he wants to achieve. Like I don't want to again go into details there, but just like being able to watch these characters grow. You're growing with them. You're on this journey with them. And that's what makes the series so great. And like, as you see them actually achieve things in, uh, throughout the journey, it's just like you feel like a sense of accomplishment as you know they get get from point A to B to C to D. It, it, that's what makes the series so great. Now, the big complaint, I guess, the only complaint that I've ever gotten about Hunter x Hunter is it's very slow pace, which it is. But again, this series isn't like your standard shonen where episode one consists of just explosions, fireball, huge monsters being destroyed, and all that stuff. That's not how. This story is the story is solely around the characters it's about their journey and yes it takes a long time for them for example to achieve their powers but again it's not about that it's about the journey itself which is what makes the series so great and then like as you just uh, you know progress to a story the best part that I like about the most what Togashi is a genius at is always doing the unpredictable there's never been a point in the series where I was predicting like oh okay well he's gonna be obviously the main character is obviously going to kill the, the main villain that never happens. It never gets to a point where you're just like, oh my god, my prediction was true. Everything that happens in that series is so unpredictable that like, it's just, it's just, it's it's rare in anime period. I mean, the big problem with a lot of other animes that I'm not going to name, because I know if I name ser certain series that you guys love, it's going to be a huge flame war in the comments. The big problem with a lot of series sometimes is the fact that um, they're very predictable. I mean, let's, let's be real here. Every series is exactly the same. You have a main character, there's the villain. The main character destroys the villain with the support of, you know, their friends somehow. I mean, that's that's kind of like the basic uh, fundamentals and recipes of certain shows. 
But in Hunter x Hunter, it's never been about that. It's never been about the crazy fights. It's never been about like overcoming, destroying that one villain. Everything that happens in Hunter x Hunter is so different from other anime, which is why the second I started watching it, and then as I kept watching it over time, I began to like really love where the series is going. Now, granted, I really wish that you know Togashi would get off his ass and really give us that final arc or the next arc. I don't know how much he had really planned for us after that, but where the series ends. Is really really good. It's really really well done. Like I am okay with accepting the fact that the series ends where the anime stops. Um, if Togashi ever decides to come back, you know, tomorrow maybe he does a huge blip outside and it kind of scares the shit out of me. I was like, oh shit, was that aliens? Um, if Togashi ever decides to come back, it'd be great because I, I would love to know what happens beyond the story. But for now, I accept the ending as the, as that ending. Like unlike uh, a lot of anime that get canceled, um, you know, uh, Hunter x Hunter leaves basically everything kind of like fulfilled like the void in your heart you usually get after you watch a show you don't get that with hunter x hunter like the ending is just great so from start to finish it's just a, it's a great series the characters are really really great the action is awesome madhouse animated it so you already know that you're not gonna be disappointed when it comes down to visuals like they are the best when it comes down to uh putting together an a1 series i mean i have literally the whole series right here look at that it's, it's just so good like I, I even reading the manga is great like i just highly recommend it like and the question i want to ask you guys is number one Who's seen it here? And if you've seen it, what do you think about it so far? And then I also have a question to those who did watch it but didn't like it. What was it about it sh about that show that you didn't like? Comment that below. Because again, I know there's a lot of uh, people out there who did try it and didn't like it. But then again, that's the whole point of uh, opinions and stuff. Because like, there's a lot of times where you're going to try something and not necessarily like it. And that's just a normal part of life. Like, you don't have to like one thing because someone else likes it. You don't have to follow the popular opinion. You are your own person, your own individual. And you can do whatever the hell you want to do. In my case, I chose Hunter x Hunter as my favorite anime of all time because, again, it's just great. It just, it just, if you can sit down and have fun and just be full of joy and just be happy, I think that anime or that series or TV show or whatever the hell you're doing accomplishes this goal. Because the whole point of a lot of these shows is, is, is to, you know, bring you entertainment. It's to bring you that sense of happiness. And to me, that's what Hunter x Hunter accomplishes really, really well, which is why it's my favorite series of all time. Now, will it ever get, uh, ever, ever get, uh, you know, uh, replaced, I couldn't think of the word replaced, replaced by anything, who knows, possibly, I mean, to be honest, before this, my favorite anime of all time was Yu Yu Hakusho, which is ironically the same writer, and then, it's funny, because when I was watching uh, Yu, uh, not Yu Hakusho, uh, Hunter x Hunter for the first time, there was a point in time where I was like, at this, I was, I was struggling internally, like, trying to figure out what I like better, it's like, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter x Hunter, but it's like, but Yu Yu has been there since day one, and this is basically like the new chick in your life, and it took me a while, but once I finished Hunter x Hunter, it was pretty much clear that Hunter x Hunter to me was my favorite. It was better than Yu Yu Hakusho, and it's just everything that I wanted in the anime was in that. So, if I could use the words that I used last time to piss a lot of people off, yes, Hunter x Hunter to me is the perfect anime. Uh, it's I enjoyed it from start to finish, and that's what I consider a perfect anime. So, uh, that's just that's just me again. My opinion, folks. Opinions are are possible it's it's possible to have an opinion that clashes with someone else's that's that's the beauty of of, uh, of living experience and stuff in an, in an individual format but um but yeah uh definitely recommend to check it out I, like i said i would not be making a video here on a dragon ball channel about another series it's probably gonna throw a lot of people off like i can't believe dragon ball is not your favorite it's not it's up there it's one of my favorites and i'm probably my top 10 but like ultimately when it comes down to it i i think that togashi did a much better job telling the story of these two kids they go through this journey to um basically the journey the, the journey is what's exciting about it I, i'll just say that let me pull my phone out because i want to end this video with my favorite quote from the series and this is uh i'm not going to say the name actually because again i want to kind of keep it as mysterious as possible to people who uh aren't familiar with, with the show but if you've seen this you should know this quote and the quote says you should enjoy the little detours to the fullest, because that's where you'll find the things more, more important than what you want. Ooh, that's deep. And that quote, that quote alone should be enough for you to want to experience that show. But uh, but yeah, uh, in case you have not seen it, there are two, ver two versions of the show. One is a 1999 version that was released, obviously in 1999, and it's unfinished. Uh, there's an English dub of that as well, and it stops at like episode 60, but uh, Hunter x Hunter that you want to watch is a 2011 version. It was remade, obviously, in 2011 by Madhouse. Uh, the voices and everything there is a lot better than the original. If you want to watch both, go for it, but if you have to choose one, make sure you're watching the right one because the 2011 version is the one that finishes. And uh, sometime this year, there will be an English dub release because Viz Amina did announce it a couple months ago, and they have not released any information ever since that. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get you know some more information about that sometime soon, but for now, 
2011 Hunter x Hunter subversion is what you want to watch whenever the dub gets released, hopefully this year. Um, and I'll probably do a whole uh, series around that review in the episodes again in English because, again, I love that show and I want to experience it again all over because it's just that awesome. Um, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I, again, I feel like this video is going to be very controversial just because anytime, anytime an opinion is ever stated on the internet, it, people just get batshit crazy just because, you know, people don't realize that other people think and uh, act differently than they do. So, whenever those clash, it's when it creates um, war, essentially. But again, this is my opinion. You guys have your own opinion. I'm sure by now there's a bunch of comments uh, below talking about, oh, my favorite show is Sword Art Online. My favorite show is Dragon Ball. My favorite show is One Piece. My favorite show is I Can Go On. And again, whatever you like, comment it below and tell me why. And then any questions that I asked about Hunter x Hunter, uh, you know, maybe you tried but didn't like it. What was it about it that you didn't like? Comment that below and let's see uh, how you guys reacted overall. But uh, other than that, again, Hunter x Hunter, that is my favorite. Now you guys know uh, to those who've been asking me because I get this question all the time. Um, and I, I probably want to bring back more Hunter Hunter videos in the future, to be honest, because there's a lot to be discussed there. But I feel like, you know, uh, there needs to be more around it. Like maybe when once the dub comes out, like I said, I will do a review on an episode basis, per episode basis, because that'll be uh, fun again to expose to a lot of you guys. Because I just want you guys to watch it. I want you guys to at least watch it and then be able to say, oh, that's great. Or, oh, nah, that's not good. Uh, in which case, if you don't like it, that's okay. That is okay. You are perfectly okay to not like the series. It's all up to you. You do what you want. Um, you're free to think the way you think. So I just want to toss that out there again. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and go get my uh, fire extinguisher because I'm sure there's a lot of fire in the comments below. So uh, And also got to hide from the pitchforks and torches because, again, anytime an opinion is posted, it gets kind of crazy. But uh, at least I spoke my word. So there you have it. Anyway, so let me know your thoughts. If you agree, disagree, anything, leave a like in below. All the good stuff. You know how this works. You, this is not new. Uh, and I guess uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see all your amazing hunters in the comment section below. Peace.